following excerpt is from an MSNBC article on the prevalence of general herpes in the population. Despite the decline, blood tests of more than 11,000 people found 11% of men and 23% of women carry the general herpes or type 2 virus. Among people in their 20s, the infection rate was almost 11%. What is the probability that among 13 randomly selected women, at least one of them has general herpes? Okay, so when I read this problem, I have to identify what technique to use. And so I see it's a probability problem. That's good. That's a good start. And then I see that looking for the probability that among 13 randomly selected women, at least one of them has the virus, right? So first of all, the fact that we're selecting more than one person, I can think of this problem as involving at some point multiplication rule in it somewhere, right? But then we have this problem of at least one statement. Since we see that, I should write down a statement that says, find the probability of at least one. This is a very classic, famous kind of probability. In this case, it's at least one among the 13 women has the virus, right? So at least one has the virus. Okay, so I'll start with that. Now, once I have that statement expressed, the next thing to do is to go with its, you know, equality on the other side. The other side of it is going to mean the probability that at least one has the virus is going to always be one minus the probability that none of them have the virus. So again, it's always, if it's at least one here, it's always one minus the probability of none. If I say at least one has the virus, it's going to be none of them have the virus. So I just fill in exactly what I wrote here, right here, along with the word none. At least one, none. So at least one is one minus the probability of none. All right, good. Now that I have that, the next thing is to try to work out that probability here in parentheses. So it's 13 women, so I should have 13 probability spaces, right? dot, 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 I'm not going to actually write out all 13, I would run out of space, right? So I'm just going to put in, you know, um, a bunch of spaces and indicate that, you know, there's some left out here. And we'll know from the context of the problem that there are actually 13 different women being selected. So what's this first space represent? Well, this is going to be the probability that the very first woman I select does not have the virus, right? Because I'm looking for, in this probability, none of them to have the virus, right? So it's one minus the probability that none of them have the virus. All right, so in order to do that, then I'm going to say, okay, well, if this space represents the probability that none of them have the virus, what's the probability that the first woman I select does not have the virus? Well, I don't know that. I do know what percent have the virus, though, right? 23% seem to carry the virus. So I can say to myself, well, if that's the case, then I know that the probability that someone has the virus who is female is 0.23. The probability that they do not have the virus, remember this bar means not virus, would have to be 100% or 1 minus 0.23. So either 100% minus 23%, which gives you 77%, or 1 minus 0.23, which will give you 0.77. So 77% of the women do not have the virus, 23% do have the virus. All right, good. Now I'm looking for the probability that none of these women I look at have the virus. So I'm going to say that that probability for the first person is 77%. That's the chance the first woman I look at does not have the virus. Then I'm going to randomly select another woman. I'm assuming that these women will be independent of each other, right? It's just a, a totally different woman selected from a total, perhaps maybe a totally different area of the country. Um, so they should not affect one another. So I'm going to assume that the probability that that person is without the virus is 77% and then so on and so forth, right? The same pattern would carry on through all the other ones, dot, 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 up to 77%. So the final answer for the problem then is ultimately one minus 0.77 to the 13th power, right? Okay, so let's see what that gives us then with our calculator. So we'll have one minus 0.77 raised to the 13th power. And when we do that, we end up with this very large number, uh, 0 0.967, or basically 96.7%. So again, what this is saying is that the probability that at least one of the 13 women has the virus is 96.7%. This would mean if um, you know somebody were to randomly have intercourse with um, you know, 13 different women, the probability that he would come across one of the women having the virus is almost 97%, extremely high probability.